you know, I was in the water always just have fun, but maybe around then I wanted to live up with someone's, like the people's expectations. Like my mom, my coach, and then people supported, support me. <laughs> do you eat miso soup? You do? When I was a kid, I studied ballet and rhythmic gymnastic when I was four to five and I started uh, learning swimming as well and I went to swimming club with my sister and brother and when I got better for swimming and my mom asked me that which way do you want to go? Synchro or speeding swimming? and I choose synchro Synchro is called the artistic swimming now. We just dance in the water. <laughs> because I like dancing with music, so I follow my sister and I started synchro when I was eight years old. I like cooking. Just what is relaxing. I think I would it makes me relax. Like sometimes I'm like, like stressful when I'm stressed out, stressed out. I just cut like ginger for like 30 minutes or something. <laughs> so relax. It's kind of meditation for me. I I think. So this is the miso I made. You steam, no, boil the beans very soft and mixing together with salt and koji. And get warm. Let it for like three to six months to get foment. Actually, I was better at ballet and rhythmic gymnastic. I was not a good swimmer. My mom always thought <laughs> I'm not swimming, I'm just like playing in the water. I was not swimming at all. <laughs> My first dream was to be a ballerina. But I started synchro. I liked playing in the water. No, maybe maybe I was not practicing much. <laughs> I was just praying. But uh, when I was 11, I had an audition by like Japanese uh, Olympic organization. I got selected and I got the opportunity to attend the like special training camp for for kids towards the Olympics. Towards the Olympics. Okay. 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 Oh, actually, you wanted you to try. Okay. <laughs> In the training camp, many coach came for training for us, like swimming coach. The trampoline dance coach and ballet and it was so fun. I enjoyed so much. And I moved to artistic swimming club to Tokyo when I was 13. And it became the 
kind of became serious a li little by little. And I loved like dancing and like express something with my body. But I think I didn't like, like competing with people. Even when I was kids, I didn't think about the ranking. When I was 17, I got selected junior national team. And when I was 19, like before I was selected as a national A team, I broke my hands, the bones. But thankfully, I still got selected as a national A team. But I didn't stop swimming at all even though it's broken. So I was swimming only one arm and I lost the balance and my body was like this. <laughs> and then my spin was like this. So I couldn't adjust my balance. So I had a hard time. And the next two years, I couldn't, like, I was not in national A team. And, and I couldn't go to London Olympics because I wasn't selected, I was the replacement. So that time I was thinking, I had a strong desire and dream to go to the Cirque du Soleil, like beyond the Olympics. So I was thinking, should, should I go to Olympics in four years? Or skip the first goal? And I couldn't... Uh, like <laughs> I decided to continue one more year and I went to World Championships in 2013 and after World Championship I couldn't decide to go to the Rio Olympics in three years or go to Cirque so I went to Las Vegas to see O Show by Circle the Slave. And when I watched the show, I got shocked. And I, I thought I really want to be on the stage, like right now. So I talked with my mom and coach. Of course, they didn't say yes. <laughs> they cried so much. And, but yeah, I had to, I couldn't continue anymore. I, I really wanted to go. So I stopped competing 2014. I made the resume and then reel for Cirque and I sent it. Then I was so lucky that they needed the people right away. And I didn't even go to the auditions. I was so lucky and I got like a contract and I moved to Las Vegas. I was in Vegas for seven years, since 2015 to 2021. So we have two shows a day and five days a week. You know, having 10 shows a week is not easy. Sometimes you feel heavy, your body is heavy and you're not good. You don't have a good motivation. But I could continue for seven years because because I love the show so much. I love the music, I love the old world. And I became like encore artist. And pandemic happened. So we stopped the shows, all the shows stopped. And like, so we didn't open the show for 15 months. 
I just like stopped swimming <laughs> and I enjoyed my life like not as an artist, as a human, as a girl, just like a normal life. After I think a year, the circus announced us like we will reopen the show and I got so excited the, and the entertainment will be back. The show will be back. The all will be back. And I, I got so excited. And I really wanted to be on the stage on the first day. So I, I signed as a permanent artist for 2021. And on the first day, like the audience gave me the words, the welcome back. And I felt so happy and so grateful to be on the stage and receiving claps. A lot of then standing ovations and claps and I was so happy. So I, I thought I wanna continue. But one month later, like two months later, suddenly I thought my life chapter and the life phase has been changed and I thought like it's time to go next chapter. I have no idea my future and I have no idea about even tomorrow. Which, which I really like it. I really enjoy like freedom and like I feel more like possibility as well. Like when I came back to Tokyo, like many people asked me that, what are you gonna do? Like, what, are you gonna, what is your job in Japan? And I always try to answer something, but that time I felt like maybe I can be underwater model or <laughs> some, I can teach yoga because I have a license. <laughs> but like, I always told them what I can do, what I can do, but it was not what I want to do. And I finished my the career with Cirque because I wanted to enjoy more. I wanted to trust and believe my like possibility not 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 only like artistic swimmer not a like yoga teacher model or i don't want to like categorize myself so i'm enjoying more like freedoms and um, i feel like more possibility because i you know like i have no idea it makes me kind of unstable as well like because you don't even know tomorrow so when i feel unstable or the kind of insecure i always try to back to my heart and then try to ask myself like how do you feel what do you want to do today <laughs> and like sometimes i got offered so thankfully but I always try to ask myself, like, you, do you really want to do? And thankfully my heart answer, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> sometimes she doesn't say anything, like she's just quiet, but which is okay. <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I wanna try to trust, trust myself and follow my heart. Ha, 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 ha.